Traffic at your 2 o'clock, there's a flight of 2 F-15s. Yeah, copy the traffic, we'll keep an eye out. 2 F-15s, hell yeah. Ah, there they are. Ah. Sure, I'm saying good morning, November 774, Mike Whiskey on row 8. I'm unfamiliar with aerodrome. Can you let me know where I can do run-ups? At the Bravo loop, which is just before the holding point for Bravo 1. Copied, and thanks for your help. 774, Mike Whiskey. No problem at all. Full power, airspeed's increasing on both. Well, hello and welcome to a, another episode of Steph Flies Around the United Kingdom. Yesterday, if you watched the last video, I was flying to Brighton. The weather was not very good. I only got like a 30 minute flight in, which was a bit disappointing. Today, the weather is looking good until lunchtime, where it's going to turn to pants again, apparently. So, I'm trying to get my flight in this morning. About two hours, this one's going to be around the southeast of England and ending up at an airfield called Duxford. Any of you know your aviation will know about Duxford. That's the plan. But for me, a lot of this is very different for me. The only thing that's the same is the aircraft. So ride along and enjoy this flight. Watch me flying from Brighton on the south coast to Duxford, north of London. And fingers crossed, uh, I don't make too many mistakes. The most complicated thing about that whole departure. Charlie, Juliet, Yankee from the most complicated thing about the departure was getting permission to land at Duxford, which is where we're aiming for today. I was ready to go at seven this morning, but the airport didn't open until ten. Luckily, they answered my phone call at nine thirty. Getting permission to land at Duxford Airport took a little while. But in Australia, if there's an uncontrolled airfield, we could just you just go to it. It's a little bit different here. We do need permission here, apparently, for aerodromes that we're going into. Some of them, anyway. Good morning, Lid. 774 Mike Whiskey. We're just a VFR aircraft uh, tracking coastal, just letting you know we'll be overhead Hastings and then tracking northbound to South End. We won't be in your zone, but just letting you know that we're here. Nothing more for Mike Whiskey. Roger, I can give you a basic service. Squawk 7066, the QNH is 1013, and uh, report passing a B Nash. Uh, basic service 7066. 1013 and we'll report a beam Ashford uh, 774 Mike Whiskey. What I'm getting used to, getting used to many things on this flight, first of all place names, so he's told me to report uh, a beam Ashford, like I grew up in Kent so I kind of, I remember Ashford, I think yeah but then I'm like where the hell is Ashford? Checking places on the map, that's number one. Number two, lots of frequency changes, jumping from Shoreham to Farnborough Lars now into Lid Approach. Thirdly, squawk changes so when i'm vfr i've had three different score codes now already so it's just getting used to those little intricacies it's not, not an issue england is entitled to do it however england wants to do it but it's it's just very different very different to what i'm used to in australia we just go one two zero zero for vfr we'd listen out on the area frequency but then you just go <laughs> you go and you hardly talk to anyone most of the time November 774, Mike Whiskey, A-Beam, Ashford. Nothing before, Mike Whiskey, free call, uh, south end now, 130, decimal 780. Have a good flight, goodbye. 130, 780, uh, Wilco, thanks for your help. November 74, Mike Whiskey. Ooh, okay, interestingly, my first UK big airport, or zone transit, I think that's what they call it. I was going to say big airport clearance, that's not what it's called, don't call it that. South end radar, November 774, Mike Whiskey. November 774, Mike Whiskey, South End Radar, good morning, past message. Good morning, 774, Mike Whiskey, is a Cirrus SR22 VFR from South End to Duxford. We're just overhead Ashford. We'd like to uh, track through your control zone. You're going to be routing Whitstable Harbour, uh, Sheerness Docks overhead, and then out via Northy Island, currently at 1,800. November 4, Mike Whiskey, we're just called 4575. Basic service initially, Q&H 1012. 4575, basic service initially, and 1012 for, oh, sorry, 774 Mike Whiskey. November 4 Mike Whiskey, just say again your level and were you airborne from lead? Level is 1800 and negative lead, airborne from uh, Shoreham. November 4 Mike Whiskey, Roger, thank you. So I'm not cleared yet. She's just like setting me up. Seeing who I am. November 774, Mike Whiskey, you're cleared to cross South End's controlled airspace on your requested route in Sheerness overhead, Northy Island, BFR, not above altitude 3000 feet. Cleared to cross through South End, Sheerness overhead, Northy, not above 3000. November 774, Mike Whiskey. So I'm going to cheat a little in the series because I've got the 
So Sheerness, South End, which is the airport itself, and then Northy something, Northy Head. That's my entry point and my exit point. I've got them programmed in the flight plan here, so I've just done a direct to it. I'm following the GPS now. It means that I get the route exactly as what air traffic control wanted, and it also just takes a little bit of workload off me, off me as well. We've got a four mic whiskey in a mile and a half. You're entering controlled airspace, radar control. Copy radar control in a mile and a half, November four mic whiskey. And there we go, flying over the River Thames. Looks muddy, doesn't it? Actually, that's not water below us right now, as you're looking at it. That actually is mud. Those are the mud flats. You can see the edge of the water coming in now. And out that way, well, keep going that way. You get to Norway, I guess. Very cool. Directly overhead the top of South End. Remember, 7 at 4 Whiskey, leaving controlled airspace in half a mile, basic service on leaving. Leaving in half a mile, basic service on leaving, and you want me to keep the squawk, 774 Mike Whiskey. 74 Mike Whiskey, sir. Thank you. Remember, 7 4 Whiskey, correct, 74 Mike Whiskey, approaching the edge of my cover now, squawk con security and free call on route. Good day, Chief. Conspicuity and free call on route. Is there a large information for this area for 4 Mike Whiskey? Uh, not a, a large. Wattisham uh, radar may be able to give you a, a radar service. If not after that, so if you're going north of Wattisham, then uh, Norwich. Understood. Thanks for your help. 4 Mike Whiskey. Wattisham approach November 774 Mike Whiskey. No, they don't want to know me. Uh, this would be a good IFR day. The cloud layer is only about 300 feet thick. It would be nice and fine and lovely on top of here. Because the cloud's coming from this direction, so if I go on top, I don't know whether there'll be a gap for me to get down. I don't know, I can see the ground at the moment. I'm safely above the altitude I need to be above. There's no populated areas or big built-up areas below me anyway, so I've got plenty of options if I need them. Keeping a very good lookout, though. Lake Heath approach, November 774, Mike Whiskey. November 774, Mike Whiskey, Lake Heath approach, uh, Squawk 0453. 0453774 Mike Whiskey. November 4 Mike Whiskey, radar contact 15 miles east of Lake Heath, basic service QNH 1011. Basic service 1011, and actually looking to uh, transit across your zone at this altitude east to west if able, uh, tracking out towards uh, the town of Littleport. November 4 Mike Whiskey, negative. We have uh, arrivals in the Lake and East. Understood. Uh, we'll go anti-clockwise around the danger zone. Then uh, full my whiskey. Thank you. Copy. We're gonna go around the danger zone. He said no. The danger area is over there. That's active. So uh, how are we gonna do this, Steph? How are we gonna do this? So there's the danger zone that's active. That's me. And I've got to pick my way through. Oh, dismiss that. I've got to pick my way through maybe up here to this West Rainham. I think I maybe I'll try that. VFR in the UK is, is fun. It's, it is, honestly, it's fun. November 4, Mike Whiskey, traffic at your 2 o'clock, 5 miles. There's a flight of two F-15s at 4,000, proceeding to Lake and East. Copy the traffic, we'll keep an eye out uh, for Mike Whiskey. Two F-15s, hell yeah. Ah, there they are. Ah. And traffic inside for Mike Whiskey. Four Mike Whiskey, Roger, thank you. Just a casual couple of F-15s flying across the top. November 4 Mike Whiskey, no traffic to effect on your current heading. Radar service terminated, clock appropriate code, frequency change approved. Copy, no traffic, frequency change approved, and 7000. Four Mike Whiskey, thanks for your help. Marham approach, November 774 Mike Whiskey. Nobody there. So now I, I kind of, I wonder who I should be talking to at this point. What have I got on here? I've got um, oh, Marham Lars, 12415. Yeah, that's what I just tried. They didn't want to talk to me. What's this? Parachute jump, surface to 3,500. Effective in eight hours. Hooray. Well, let's go 1246 and go back to London information, I guess. This is where as a pilot you think to yourself, what have I missed? Am I at the right level? Am I at the right speed? Am I in any airspace? Am I talking to the right person? This is where the workload increases, but to be honest, I actually like this. This is, these are the, the moments that I quite like. You work, you're working for your money. 
and I'm not being paid to be here, but... That looks like a big airport off my wing, but it's not on the map. Must be a disused, disused airport over there. If anyone in the UK is watching this, they know what that airfield or disused airfield is or was. I'd love to know. What's this danger area here, D207? Hull Beach, UK orbit area. I'm not sure what that means. Anyone know what goes on there in D207? Anyone been in D207? November 774, Mike Whiskey. Request status of danger area Delta 207. Uh, Delta 207 is notified up. Uh, Copy to active, November 774, Mike Whiskey, thanks. And active means no go. That's the wash over to the right hand side. In the United Kingdom, this area here on the on the eastern side, this big inlet here, this is called the wash. And that's that over there. Very cool. I bet there's some ice cream consumption that goes on down there. Coming to me radar on November 774, Mike Whiskey. Norwich, November 774, Mike Whiskey. Uh, November 774, Mike Whiskey, unable to read you, Norwich. If you can hear us, we're just going to switch back conspicuity, uh, continue VFR. Conning speed radar, November 774, Mike Whiskey. November 744, Mike Alpha, Conning speed, uh, we are closed for last, but transit is approved if required. Oh, understood. Uh, no, we were just looking for a basic service, but uh, without Lars, that's fine. Thank you. 774, Mike Whiskey. The only thing I'm lacking at the moment is just an awareness of other traffic around me. The rest of it, I feel okay about the controlled airspace, the in and out. I uh, just like a little bit more sort of traffic service stuff. I don't fly low and slow enough. That's probably my problem. I'm so used to Cirrus IFR 8,000 feet stuff down low, looking out the window yourself. Maybe I need to do more of that. That's why today's flight is really good. Now, Duxford is down in that direction, so I'm just going to keep chuckling along here a little bit and approach it from the north because it's going to be easier to get into Duxford from the north. I've already called up air traffic control and told them what I'm doing. They've explained to me which runway is active. They've given me some instructions on how to join as well, which is a brilliant service. Yeah, awesome ATC, and I'm going to make my way into Duxford now and land there because on the ground, well if you know anything about your aviation history and particularly your Royal Air Force aviation history, Duxford's, Duxford's a pretty special place. Cambridge, Cambridge. There is another aerodrome, Cambridge. See this kind of feathery thing that sticks out the side of it? That's their instrument approach I believe, so because we're going to be flying through it I am going to give them a call. Just check that they are 1209. Number 4, Mike Quisky, London information. To be advised, Peter is Sibson active with parachuting today. Uh, copy Sibson uh, being active, we'll keep an eye out for that. And um, I'd like to switch across to Cambridge now, let them know what we're doing on 120965. Mike Quisky, Roger, Free Call Cambridge and Score Conspicuity. Have a good day. Free Call Cambridge and Conspicuity, thanks again. Seven, Mike Whiskey. Cambridge approach, November 774, Mike Whiskey. November 774, Mike Whiskey, Cambridge Radar, Squawk 6164 and standby. November 4, Mike Whiskey, pass your message. November 4, Mike Whiskey, the VFR Sirius SR22. We're landing at Duxford, but we're going to be passing to your southwest, not above 1,600 feet positioning uh, to overhead Sawston. November 4, Mike Whiskey, Cambridge QNH 1012, what type of service you require? Uh, 1012 and a traffic service for Mike Whiskey, please. Number 4, Mike Whiskey, beneath my radar coverage, sir, basic service. No worries, basic service for Mike Whiskey, thank you very much. Golf Delta Mike, turn away. Why ask me? And descend Why to ask altitude me? To what would you like? I'd like this. Yeah. November 4, Mike Whiskey, Squat Conspicuity, free call Duxford 122.080. Conspicuity and 12200, November 4 Mike Whiskey. Duxford Radio, November 774 Mike Whiskey is 8 miles to the north. We've just been talking to Cambridge. Uh, we are inbound. Request information. November 774 Mike Whiskey, Duxford information. Runway 24 with a left hand circuit, QFE 1008. 
Runway 24, left hand circuit and 1008, November 774, uh, Mike Whiskey. All right, first stage of flaps, 25% power, let the nose come down. Second stage of flaps, below 100. And November 774, Mike Whiskey, turning final, runway 24. November 4, Mike Whiskey, runway 24 left, land at your discretion, sir, between 290 and 8 knots. 24 left, landing, uh, 774, Mike Whiskey. Duxford, Duxford, Duxford is the place to be. The air traffic control were excellent before I landed here. They were really nice in the tower, helping me out. Marshaller on the ground, who just helped me park here. I think Duxford's my new favourite aerodrome. Yes, yes, Spitfire. Uh, remember kids, Spitfire, greater than symbol, Mustang. There's a Tiger Moth coming in now as well. This place is awesome. Look at this. When you land here as a pilot in Duxford, you actually get two hours in the museum for free. So I'm making the most of that and having a look around. I did have one plan, which was to fly out of here and head back sort of closer to London this afternoon. But I don't know whether you can see this behind me here. These are the storms that are coming in from the West Country. And they're sort of due here around, well, it's 12.57, I was gonna say, they're due here around one o'clock. But I'm gonna do something that I don't normally do, which is I'm just gonna slow down a bit and take my time. I quite often when I'm flying come to these places stop have a quick look around and then go off to the next place and try and achieve like a lot of things in one short short space of time i think i'm just going to relax a bit more like apparently as well there's a, a really nice cafe over here and i've not had breakfast today at all i haven't eaten anything i've had one coffee today which is terrible i just take my time keep having a look around get something to eat shorter back then. It's not a particularly long aircraft when you're used to the sort of modern day aircraft that we fly nowadays. Concorde itself isn't that long, it's obviously very thin, that's all that reduced drag. It's a big reason why it can go so fast, but this is the bit that I was interested in. We're just getting to the point now where I get to ask Chris to select the nose advisor up, streamlining Concorde for high speed flight. Chris, could you select the nose advisor up now, please? Coming up. That's a cool plane. Such an important part of aviation history. Sad it doesn't fly anymore. I would come here as a kid when I was growing up in the UK, probably the ages of 13, 14, 15, I would have been here. And I'm sure that this place has got a huge reason for why I wanted to become a pilot. Now I wanted to fly in here in my own aircraft, but of course the COVID pandemic in 2020 meant that that trip had to be canceled. But to fly in here myself, kind of go full circle to when I was here as a teenager, that makes me feel that makes me feel really proud of myself. 15 year old Steph, if he knew that old Steph would be here one day and would have flown himself in, in his own plane, I think 15 year old Steph would be pretty proud as well. Great day today, I feel really happy today.